Okay, so in this first problem, we're asked to create a 99% confidence interval for the given data. Now, it doesn't say what type of confidence interval, and at this point, we only have one type, but when it gets to a test, we probably would have more information. Also, um, we don't have a normal distribution. It doesn't mention that, but remember, the sample size is large enough. It's more than, it's 30 or more, in this case, more, so we can always use the normal distribution process. So we need to use x bar plus or minus z alpha over 2 times sigma over the square root of n. So our point estimate plus or minus our margin of error for this formula. We have everything except for z alpha over 2. We're making a 99% confidence interval. So we have two choices. First, we could memorize that a 99% confidence interval has z alpha over 2 of 2.575. Or we could go ahead and find it the long way. First, we would find alpha, which is 1%, the complement of 99%, and write that as a decimal. Then we divide alpha over 2 to get 0, 0, 0,05. Then we look inside the table to find z equals negative 2.575, but remember z alpha over 2 is always listed as a positive value. Now we are ready to solve the problem. So first I'm going to write out what the formula looks like. Now I'm going to fill in all the parts I have. And now I need to go ahead and write that in, type that into my calculator. So on the calculator for the lower limit, I would go ahead and type 20 minus 2.575 times 3 divided by the square root of 25. So I didn't necessarily use the parentheses. The parentheses were more for the visual writing of the formula. So as I type that into my formula with the minus, I get 18.928, etc. And then I would do that again for the plus or the positive margin of error. I get 21.0712, etc. And assuming I'm asked to answer with one place to the right of the decimal, I would be looking at 18.9 to 21.1. So let's go ahead and put that up in our answer box. So I'm saying that based on a sample of 52 items that had an average of 20 using a known standard deviation of 3, the real population parameter of mu is probably between 18.9 and 21.1. Now keep in mind, I'm 99% confident, so 99 out of 100 times I do this, mu is really going to be in there. But of course, this could be the 1% of time that mu is not in there.